Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the field and the video board for a special ceremony featuring Sounds owner Frank Ward, National Mayor Carl Dean, Metro Council member Erica Gilmore, and a very special video guest. Good evening. Many sig significant names in the history of baseball have called Nashville home and have played right here on this site at Sofidel. It was important for, to me that the street on which First Tennessee Park is located be named after someone special. Someone with, with name recognition in both the major leagues as well as someone who created great memories for the baseball fans at the old Sofidel Diamond. After some research and conversations with Council Lady Erica Gilmore, it became quickly apparent there was one name that stood out all above all the rest. Thanks to the Metro Council who approved the change, the Nashville Sounds home ballpark now resides on a street named after a man whose roots grew deep here in Nashville, Brooklyn Dodger great Junior Gilliam. Please turn your attention to the scoreboard for a special video. James Jr. Gilliam was born on October 17, 1928 in Nashville, Tennessee. Following a standout career at Pearl High School here in Music City, he started his professional career in 1946 at the age of 17 and spent five seasons playing Negro League Baseball, including a stint at Sulphur Dell with the Nashville Black Vols. In 1951, he was signed by the Montreal Royals of the International League, the AAA team of the Brooklyn Dodgers. Junior made his major league debut on April 14, 1953. He won the National League Rookie of the Year that year as well. He played his entire 14-year career with the Dodgers in Brooklyn and Los Angeles. After he retired in 1967, he served as a coach for the Dodgers until his untimely death on October 8, 1978 at the age of 49. His number 19 was retired by the Dodgers two days after his death and will never be worn by a Dodger again. But his number 19 will always adorn First Tennessee Park as the Sound's official address. Good afternoon. My name is Council Lady Erica Gilmore. I am the representative for this area and I'm delighted to celebrate with you this afternoon, Junior Gilliam. Gilliam is important to me because he's a native of Nashville, Tennessee. He also graduated from Pearl High, which is shortly around the corner from here. In addition to that, he had a 14 year career with the Dodgers in Los Angeles. Gilliam was named an all-star in 1956 and 1959, and he played in seven World Series. He remained with the Dodgers as a coach after his player career ended and became the first African American coach of the major of the excuse me of the major leagues and that is the reason that we're um, celebrating Junior Gillum tonight. Now we have a greeting that will be brought to you by Vin Scully. Hi everybody. This is Vin Scully and I'm honored and delighted even though I can't be there. I am certainly with you in spirit as you take the time to honor one of my all-time favorite players and gentlemen who wore a Dodger uniform. I was very close to Jim Gilliam when I first came up and he treated me as if I were a veteran. I was anything but. But it was typical of Jim to sit and chat and talk about his days playing. And so now the years have rolled by. Uh, this is my 66th year doing Dodger games. But when I look back over the players who wore the uniform, certainly Jim is a standout without a doubt. I remember one time at a banquet, I had been introducing each Dodger player, so-and-so the second baseman, so-and-so the shortstop, so-and-so the outfielder, and then for whatever reason, I said, and now here is Jim Gilliam, baseball player. And that just seems to blow the audience away. They thought that was the best tribute that I could give him, and I guess to think about it, uh, I was glad that I did. He was a wonderful human being, and I'm thrilled, as I said at the outset of this, to play a very small part in tipping my hat and opening my heart to the memory of Jim Gilliam.
Well, that was a very touching tribute to a great player by one of baseball's great announcers. It's an honor to be part of this ceremony, recognizing the historic contributions of Junior Gillum to baseball in Nashville and around the country. When it became clear that the Sounds needed a new ballpark, I felt there was really only one place for it, Sulphur Dell. Baseball was first played here in the 1860s, and I didn't want to pass up the opportunity to bring it back. As Frank said, some of the greatest players in baseball history played at Sulphur Dell, including Joe DiMaggio, Babe Ruth, Jackie Robinson, and Lou Gehrig. I wanted a new stadium to honor that history while also allowing the Sounds and their fans to enjoy a 21st century environment in the heart of the city in a neighborhood where the ballpark's presence is already having an impact. Renaming part of Jackson Street for Junior Gilliam is another way to do that. Junior played a season at Sulphur Dell early in his professional career when he was still a teenager and Jackie Robinson had not yet broken the major league color line. Years later, he teamed up with Jackie Robinson to help lead the Dodgers to victory in the 1955 World Series, the first of four championship teams that Junior played on. Now, nearly 70 years after he played at Sulphur Dell, we're able to honor Junior Gilliam right here in the same part of the city where he once banged out base hits, stole bases, and turned double plays. So let's tip our hats and give a round of applause to Junior Gilliam. And now I'd like to ask... Frank Ward, Councilwoman Erica Gilmore, and Carol Yoakum, Middle Tennessee President of First Tennessee Bank, to join me over here. <laughs> 